welcome back in the last video we we're able to show how to upload files in streamlit now what we're going to do is create a select box where users can come and select the type of chat they want to accomplish this we're going to use the select widget let me show you how it's done so add a select widget to the sidebar so let's call it chat select we want it to be in the sidebar so we're going to do sidebar dot select we need to specify the label and the options so label select the chat type Let's specify the options we want you to be able to make scatter plots line plots histogram box plot so let's just leave these options for now we can always come back to them and add more if we want to let's see if show you what it looks like so this is what you have scatter plot line plot Instagram box plot awesome so there we have it okay just what we want let's select scatter plots we want to be able to show different other parameters based on what's selected right so we'll use a bunch of if statements for that so if chat select i could have said chat selection is equals to then we want to write something in the sidebar we want a certain sub header to be depending on what's selected we want the user to be able to specify certain things so for scatter plots we want the user to be able to specify what should be on the x-axis what should be on the y-axis the user to be able to specify the x it's going to be a select widget as well in the sidebar on the options for now we we'll just put anything in the options let's say a we'll get to this b doesn't matter let me show you what that looks like before we go further we know that for our x and y values we want them to be of the numeric data type so there has to be a way we can extract the numeric data types from the data frame so let's say numeric columns we're going to use the uploaded data frame okay what what do we want with the uploaded data frame we want to use the select data types widget once we'll specify okay we want to be able to select floats and int then we want the columns i want all this to be in a list now because when the user first comes to the app no data frame will be selected right it makes sense for us to put this all under this try over here so we don't have to duplicate that 
and now we want the options here instead of it to just be a plain list we want it to be numeric columns before then we want to make sure that this numeric columns is going to be globally available so let's say global so to account for a case where the file has not been uploaded yet we can do a try over here as well We'll use the same thing for our y values. Let's find y values. Call this our y axis. So let's test what we've done so far. Let's test what we've done and um, we'll see. Okay, let's select a file, just a basic file over here. Let's say one scatter plots. Now you can see with the scatter plots, we can specify what we want as our X, what we want as our Y. Great. Now that we have both of these, we can connect this to an actual Plotly Express chat. Plotly Express, we use a scatter function. We can specify what the data frame is. We can specify what our X is. So our X is gonna be the X value. Our y is going to be the y value. So for now, we're just going to keep it at this, you know, basic options. Next, we're going to display the chart. So display the chart. We're going to use the plotly function, plotly chart function. Display plot. So let's test it out. One scatter plot, let's say price. Okay. <laughs> let's say price versus mileage. And there you have it. There you have it. Other things we could add here, we could specify what we want the title of the chart to be. We could play around with um, different other things, you know. Do we want the colors to be specified by something else? Do we want, what do we want, you know? So, <laughs> lots of things we can do. I'll end the video here and we'll take it to the next step where we can. But before then, let me, let's try a different data set, right? So we can upload instead of that, let's upload another data set. Okay, and you can see the difference, right? So, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.